The Smithsonian Faculty Fellowship Program represents a rewarding academic professional development opportunity for faculty at Montgomery College. The fellowships are a product of a unique collaboration between Montgomery College and the Smithsonian Center for Learning and Digital Access. It's the first of its kind between the Smithsonian Institution and a community college. Vitaly Shvetsov is a full-time faculty member of the Department of Mathematics and Statistics at the Tacoma Park Silver Spring Campus. He earned his Bachelor of Science in Economics Mathematics from the University of California, Santa Barbara. He holds a Master of Science in Mathematics from California State University, Los Angeles, and a Master of Science in Applied Statistics from the University of the District of Columbia. His interests include reading, swimming, and flying airplanes. So uh, I'm here to talk about uh, the implementation of a Smithsonian project that I had uh, in my statistics course uh, the, in the fall semester. Um, so this project was in uh, Math uh, 117A, which is Elements of Statistics. It's an introductory statistics course. And uh, this class has two components, an algebra component as well as a statistics component. The algebra component is uh, developmental in nature. And uh, we have a competency exam in the first five weeks uh, that decides whether the students stay in the class or they have to uh, uh, retake it uh, online. So uh, the first five weeks was algebra, and then we started statistics. So uh, uh, I introduced this, uh, the, the project, in the sixth week of the class. Uh, the people who, the students who take this class are usually uh, non-science major, non-science majors. And so they try to get through the mathematics requirement quickly. And this class gives them an opportunity to take two classes in one. So it's a, it's a difficult course. Basically, it's six credits in, the, in, in, in one semester. Um, as a, you know, this was my first time teaching this class. And I found out that most of the students were, were immigrants in the class, just like myself. Um, so they had an opportunity to share their immigration stories, um, talk about how they got here, uh, where they were from, uh, what they left in their respective countries, um, maybe talk about uh, their parents' experiences if they were second generation immigrants. So um, we went to uh, the National Museum of Natu Natural History that uh, hosts the Beyond Bollywood Indian American Shaped Nation exhibit. And this exhibit is uh, by Smithsonian Asian Pacific American Center. Um, it was the most, uh, it, I thought it was the, the exhibit that reflected the theme of the project the most. So the project was immigration and migration. Right? So this, this was the only project, that I, I, the only exhibit I found that was about immigration. So there's some pictures here. This is, uh, uh, this is the entrance to the exhibit. Um, the, the exhibit is hidden from, from everybody for some reason. It's the second floor of a natural history museum, and it's the other second floor. It's, uh, it's a, little, a little strange to, to get in there. So um, uh, we went there uh, in November, um, and most of my class showed up. It was, it was very, I was very impressed. Um, and uh, they walked around the exhibit before I even got there. They knew where everything was. They had to show me where everything was. Um, <clears throat> go ahead. Um, so these are some pictures from uh, from our trip. Um, this one of these uh, th this lady here. She uh, she 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 and her sister were in, in my class. They were they were tw twins, and both of them had very nice presentations. <clears throat> um, so for the Smithsonian project, the students were besides visiting the museum. Uh, there was a paper they were supposed to write uh, about a one-page paper, and it was uh, the paper was about their immigration experience. Uh, they had to tell me their story, uh, something something that they felt strongly about. Uh, so this was uh, uh, an e excerpt from one of the papers. Uh, I was born in the, in a dictatorial regime in which women are considered inferior, and where uh, and where polygamy is is a norm. I was raised in a poly poly polygamist family and suffered for it. I made a decision to have my peaceful family away far away from it. My husband and I decided to build our small family in the United States. So this student was, is from to Togo, West Africa. 
Um, besides uh, the written component, uh, there was also a, uh, an applied statistical component. So something that uh, applied to our statistics course. And so these two sisters, twin sisters, they, they had nice projects that they created on PictoChart uh, website. Uh, it's a free website and uh, you can use it for free and you can, meet, after creating your project, you can post it on Facebook. So if you can maybe go to one of these. <clears throat> Uh, if you could scroll down, uh, scroll down a little, a little more. So um, these sisters are from Mexico, and so their uh, uh, presentation is about Mexican-born immigrants. Okay, maybe the other presentation as well. Okay, so if you scroll down a little bit. Uh, there were, so this, this exhibit, the uh, Beyond Bollywood exhibit, has a lot of pie charts. I was, uh, I was surprised to see pie charts there. And so you know, this student used pie charts. They, they're, they're slightly different from a usual pie chart in the way it's constructed. But uh, if you scroll down, there's a couple more there. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, so how did I get my students to get their ideas? Uh, I had to come up with some ideas myself. And so I went to uh, uh, the website, uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics website, and I had a couple of, uh, um, a couple of slides that I used there for, from, from the website. Um, this is an example, uh, just the way immigration has changed in this country in the past 40 years. Um, and if you go to the next slide, Right, so now there, there's barely any immigrants from, from Europe, right, in, in the year 2010. I guess it's 50 years from 1916. Uh, so what did I learn from this? Um, one of the problems we have in the statistics course is that students don't really see statistics relevant to their activities, to their lives. And I try to make a, an emotional connection uh, between the things we learn and and uh, students' students' lives. Um, uh, this trip to the museum, Smithsonian Museum, was a great experience for some students. It was a first. Uh, some students brought their uh, their friends, uh, their kids. Uh, a student brought the, uh, her sister. So that was a great experience for the, for the students. And um, and what I learned from the papers is that Montgomery College plays a, a, a huge role in immigrants' assimilation to this country. Uh, students come here and they take their uh, language courses, their uh, in, uh, the English uh, learners' uh, courses, right? I'm not sure what they're called, but uh, um, they, they make friends. Um, you know, this is where they learn to be Americans, right? And Montgomery College provides an opportunity for our students. Special thanks to uh, Sarah and Mimi. Mimi, thanks for your support. Uh, and thank you, the fellows. I uh, had a great time with uh, this fellowship. I learned a lot. And, uh, you know, if you are going to apply again, you should definitely do it. it was a, it's a great experience. Yeah.